A three-year-old girl from Lincoln Park continues to fight for her life at a children's hospital after she accidentally shot herself in the head. Today, her father faced a judge charged with child abuse. Mary Spruill has the latest on the girl's condition and the family's message to all gun owners. I talked with Skylar's family this afternoon and her family is describing this as a tragic accident. Now, I first told you about the story last week when little three-year-old Skylar accidentally shot herself. Meanwhile, I spoke with her family just a few minutes ago about her current condition. Ask everybody for your prayers, please. She needs them. Joyce Nelson tells me that's all she wants this holiday season. She's simply asking for prayers for her three-year-old great-granddaughter, Skylar Johnston. And I got a three-year-old granddaughter that's probably not going to make it. It's a reality Rick Nelson is not ready to embrace just yet. You have three uh, counts of child abuse in the second degree. 26-year-old Stephen Johnston standing in front of a judge Wednesday morning at the 25th District Court, facing the charges tough for any father to hear. Police said Stevens' daughter, three-year-old Skylar Johnston, accidentally shot herself in the head inside this trailer in Lincoln Park on November 19th. Family members tell us Steven was not home at the time and that his girlfriend was watching all three kids when somehow Skylar got a hold of the gun. The details of this case are a little confusing for Skylar's family and friends. The girlfriend was supervising the kids. She was in charge of those children. She was in charge of the kids. And she dropped the ball as much as he, I don't know why she's in that church. Now the judge issued Stephen a personal bond of $15,000 with a GPS monitor. Meanwhile, the Nelsons want to warn all gun owners. Unload your damn guns. Take your bullets out of the chamber. Put a lock on them. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid like this incident. Larry Spruill, Local 4. Little Skylar is at Children's Hospital tonight. She is listed in critical condition. Her father is due back in court on December 10th.